29-year-old lady is a bank manager referred by GP to the medical outpatient clinic due to long history of tiredness and pain in the joints. Autoimmune screen is positive for smooth muscle antibodies. What is the most appropriate next investigation? Answer would be LFT. You are suspecting autoimmune hepatitis. LFT would be a screening test and liver biopsy would be confirmatory. A 60 year old man presents with dysphagia and pain on swallowing both solids and liquids. His barium meal shows gross dilatation of esophagus with a smooth narrowing at the lower end of esophagus. What is the single most likely cause of dysphagia? This patient has achalasia. The appearance on the barium is called as bird's beak appearance. It's common in middle age and older men. Myasthenia gravis could, live, could give dysphagia which is gr gradually progressive. Carcinoma and web would have different appearance on the barrier meal. A 52 year old man post cholecystectomy presented with jaundice fever and dark urine. What is the most important diagnostic investigation? So his post-op answer would be ERCP. What happens is a common complication is cholangitis. Now you need to treat this with injectable antibiotics but if there's any obstruction within 24-48 hours you need to do ERCP during which you can also relieve the obstruction. 32 year old man was noted to have yellow sclera by his colleagues has a history of taking over-the-counter drugs for some pain. Tests showed raised bilirubin but ALT and AST are normal. The provocation test with IV nicotinic acid is positive and produces further rise in serum bilirubin level. What is the most likely diagnosis here? This patient has Gilbert's syndrome. Note that liver transaminases are normal but only bilirubin is elevated. This is a benign condition which does not require any treatment. Patients can have a rise in bilirubin after intercurrent illnesses, fasting, stress and sometimes after a few medications. 64 year old patient has been having frequent episodes of secretory diarrhea which is watery with large amounts of mucus. Diagnosis of villous adenoma has been made after endoscopy. What electrolyte abnormality is most likely? Answer is hypokalemia. Villous adenoma gives secretory di diarrhea. It releases a lot of protein and potassium in the mucus. So patients can get hypokalemia and also hypoalbuminemia.